In this first clip, we knew they were going to invade the red buff. I was calling to give it up, but the hard call was made to defend. This put me out of position, and I had to blink through the wall just to reposition. In hindsight, this ended up being fine, but if we had just walked a little bit longer, I would have met Thoth and Hoonbot exiting the buff and have been able to kill them. We secured red, and I stupidly waited around to play with the Jintian. This ended up getting me killed and started their snowball. Bad move. The second clip starts with me stunning the red buff for literally no reason. I just wasted mana. I could have used this stun on Jingqian and my team could have followed up. The third clip shows me showing up late to a teamfight and watching my carry die. I decided I couldn't save him in time and I committed onto the thaw. I got his beads in the jingle in exchange for my blink. This fourth clip begins with Moonbot's ulting to secure our blue buff. We take those, and our team all ins and we win the fight. Great team. Fifth clip begins with the enemy team trying to quickly burn Gold Fury. I ult in my two carries and we not only steal it, but we get kills off of it. Excellent work. We immediately run to red to utilize the pressure, good secure and escape, and I whiffed a two. The next clip features on her soloing my carry, so we rotate and kill her. Very clean rotation by Raw. In this clip, I was taking the red buff instead of protecting my rock. I'm sorry, but... The ninth clip features a very stubborn on her who chose to sacrifice his own life for an Alphar. Very clean kill, Hilo. In this clip, I got thrown away from the gold fury with absolutely nothing done in return. Nice! In this clip, I chose to heal my Hebo. That's actively in a dishwasher. Yeah, that was bad. Then I was so far out of position I had to ult just to get back into the fight, which I not only whiffed that ult, I was so upset I had to get redemption. So I chased the Hoonbots further in an attempt to stun him, and he outblinks me. This clip really makes me question this. This next clip was a little better, but I need to commit fully to killing or helping. I was in full kill mode with a hindsight thought that I maybe should have helped. Clip 13 begins with me holding all of my abilities for whatever reason, instead of protecting my carry. He luckily won this, but that was not thanks to me. Clip 14 begins with me placing my favorite off ward and being punished for it. In hindsight, the ward was completely worth it because we were able to steal Fire Giant off of it. But that's not really something to be proud of. Thank you Raw for ulting to keep us in this game for a little while longer. This next team fight is a peculiar one. Terra and I waste so much time and enemy kits, and we somehow still lost. In hindsight, it's because Amatross was zoned out both the carries a mile away, forcing Turnabog to ult him to help, but I left him to save Terra's life, and he pays the price. Terra goes back in to secure the kill and then drops it, so all this time dedicated to her was now wasted, and we still didn't get the kill. No one's fault, just unfortunate. You should keep an eye on that guy. Eyes watching from every tree. An ally has been slain. This really could have been the game winning fight. We see Humbot splitting right side, so we call to all in. Perfect plan, but executed too slowly. They stall long enough for Humbots to make the late rotation, and he cleans up the fight because I wasn't there to help him. This one might be on. Maybe 
you should keep an eye on that guy. Smells like someone cooked three bears. They somehow didn't have enough DPS to end here, so we're able to force them off and save the Titan. For now. And we catch the Thoth slacking. No lazy back in my jungle. We have to force the issue now or never, and we call a risky fire which ultimately falls flat. We call a hard retreat so we may fight another day. The team was split on this retreat in the moment, but in hindsight it was the objective correct. In this siege, I solo ult the backline, feigning a big team initiation. They blow a lot of abilities on me, and I made it out alive. We ended up killing a few of them here, and we got the Phoenix back up. Great team fight, gentlemen. This fight happened because they stepped up just as their honor revealed himself on the minimap. We call for an all-in, and we get a fantastic pick. We should have hard reset here, then taken the 4v5. But we slowly funnel in as half the team is calling to fight, and the other half is calling for Fire Giant. We all one by one die as we try to walk back to our fountain. During this chase, I believe I played exceptionally well at slowing the enemy team down and escaping with my team. This is one of Horus' best strengths. The final clip begins with an age-old fire giant ward dance, and the enemy team forces us to place sentries in certain locations, only to place a normal ward right between them. I'm unsure if this was planned, but it worked exceptionally well. I used my ult for vision during the fight, but it ended up being completely wasted because I chose to land at my takeoff location. I don't know what I was thinking with that one, I also just sort of walk into the fire pit without frenzying or blinking. This whole fight was bad from me, and my Hebo face tanks a Thoth ult because of my insolence. Miscommunication ultimately was the reason we lost this game. While things could have been said about the draft and how we played and executed it, too many things went our way and we squandered that luck. Thank you and have a good day.